family is mourning the death of a wife and a mother killed in a double suicide bombing. The blasts ripped through a Beirut suburb yesterday, killing 43 people and injuring more than 200 others. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park sat down with the woman's grieving family who called the tragedy unexplainable. Family members gathered in quiet grief the morning after learning one of their loved ones was killed in a bloody attack near Beirut, Lebanon. I'm just not like able to process it. I'm just in total shock of all this. Zainab Plais's mother-in-law, Leila Mazloum, was one of more than 40 killed in a pair of suicide bombings in a Shiite suburb Thursday. The blasts injured nearly 240 others, including Leila's 13-year-old daughter. They were walking in the market and a bomb had went off. Layla lived in Dearborn for the past several months and left just 10 days ago for Beirut. She and her husband were waiting for paperwork to clear for their children so the family could move stateside. The 48-year-old mother and grandmother dreamed of a better life in Dearborn. Just a beautiful soul. She's just, she's full of love, compassion. Um, she, it was about her children. When you sit to talk with her, it was all about her children. Family members say the unrest in Lebanon was always a worry, but something they never imagined would directly affect them. I really never thought it would. I never, you know, I've seen it so much, and we always hear this is going to happen in Lebanon, this is going to happen. Sometimes things don't happen. And I never thought that they would be able to get into Lebanon and do this. ISIS was quick to claim responsibility for the deadly attacks Layla's family says only evil could inspire. To me, they're neither Sunni, they're neither Christians, they're neither Muslims, they're neither Jewish. They have no religion. These people do not represent any religion. I just hope that something can be taken to just wipe them out. Their one comfort now is that their Muslim faith and love for Layla will heal this deep wound. In Dearborn, Jane Park, 7 Action News.